Through my research and consultations, I found that random cardin had a very minimal role in detecting or deterring offenders or reducing crime. In my view, it is far better to use our limited resources to focus on individuals who are reasonably suspected of committing an offense, rather than using valuable manpower to question thousands of people not reasonably suspected of anything. Properly conducted street checks are an effective and necessary component of proactive policing. Most people support policing stopping people and asking them to identify themselves in the right situations. That is one of the areas of common ground that I identified in this review. For example, imagine that a police officer sees someone trying to open the windows of a home late at night. It is possible the person accidentally locked themselves out of their own home. It is also possible that the person is a burglar if you agree that the police officer should inquire as to which one of those possibilities apply, and in my view, any reasonable person would, then you have just supported a police street check. Most people do not support the police randomly demanding that people provide their identifying information and then recording that information in a police database. It was clear to me from my consultations and research that the practice of random carding disproportionately impacts innocent, law-abiding, indigenous, black, and other racialized people. The long-term impact of randomly carding people in these communities is the alienation of entire communities from the police. And a resulting lack of public trust in and cooperation with the police.